Yo. All right. Sorry, just trying to get my XP pen up on here. There we go. All right, what's up, people? I like this banging music. Welcome back to another um, random drawing prompt stream. These are the ones I did last time. Oops. We did a uh, skater girl doing a kickflip and Mega Man shooting a blueberry phantom blast. Um, that was a lot of fun. I think we're gonna all these in a folder that was a lot of fun but it's time to move on i forgot that was like seven nine or something maybe me acting like i'm actually gonna stay on top of organizing everything what a joke all right um i have a few ideas for what i want to do this time I'm gonna do, um, here, I'll do like last time where I wrote out some of them. So a lot of them, I had some good ones this time too. Place, keyboard, there we go, there we go. Um, so the prompts, um, I think, well, we might mix it up a little bit, but one I definitely want to do. Um, one that was sent in. Frogman. Lost. In a metropolitan jungle. Uh, I have some funny ideas for that one that I kind of want to try. I don't know if it'll go full like background or anything. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and do a few more this time. Last time I only did two, and it was like an hour and a half, hour forty stream. So uh, I'm gonna try and just like simplify things, and that's why I tried to I tried to make it like uh, to tell people like if you just give me a character doing like one thing, then that'll help me kind of be able to think about it, like what to do and how to draw it and stuff. But um, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna probably even try and keep it more simple and like loose and sketchy than than even last time Because um, last time I mean I didn't take too long on each one, but I think I Don't know. We're just gonna keep it like really simple this time and just do like a, a Quick little like line work and then color uh, What was one of the other ones? Oh my gosh. I had some good ones that like I can't really use as the prompt um but m more so, like, a few that were, like, actually make, like, funny videos and stuff, too. Um, Tim said tubes. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, one of my friends, Charlie, he said uh, to do, like, Moomin. Moomin skateboarding or something. Um, I forgot. Yeah, Moomin skateboarding, but then oh, I forgot he suggested something else. Dang it, I forgot. Because I told him I already did a skateboarding one, so I don't want to, like, repeat it too much. Um... Oh, and yeah, another one was Daft Punk. Yeah, one of them was Tommy Chong from that 70s show and what Pokemon he would have, which is, like, really good, actually. But I was like, oh, I, I don't want to draw that on here. I would actually rather, like, use that as one of the Pokemon What If videos that I do. So let's just say Daft Punk. That could be cool. I'm terrible with, like, robot kind of stuff. So that would actually maybe be good, like, practice. It was supposed to be 16th notes <laughs> or 8th notes might be might be uh, you and asami having a pokemon battle with your favorite mon that was from tim that was actually a really good one um but again i actually kind of think like oh man that would be sick as its own like video 
but maybe we could um <clears throat> maybe we could bring in one of the ones that my friend Zach suggested Pokemon getting pitted surfing um something with Daft Punk would be rad yeah we'll have to think of something if we get some people who want to chime in later on while we're doing that one maybe we could do that but let's start with frogman Like I said, I want to keep this like pretty simple. Smile, minimize that, and just draw. Let's say we're doing frog man. Frog man lost in Metro Jungle. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can read that. So the pen, I'm, I don't know what it is. If he's like g pen style it's really hard to um like actually write okay let's do it i haven't practiced any of these but i have like kind of thought about how i might draw them um how would you draw a frog i've been you know i've been really i've been drawing this kind of like fox character lately that kind of looks like this like, it almost gives me that kind of like old timey. <laughs> it's weird, but it like kind of reminds me of like a, a, um, like one of those old, kind of like European, like eighteen hundreds, like storybook characters. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone, but um, like he's got this kind of cool like. I guess you could almost like kind of like Moomin. You know how Moomin is just like kind of weird, wacky characters and stuff, but like a kind of a simple yet like kind of I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it's like cool. I don't know. I've had like kind of a style like this where I draw some stuff. And I've seen a lot of cool people. They have little characters like this. I don't know why. I just like kind of stumbled upon this kind of like. This, I really like this kind of shape, the ears, you know, and then it, it's really easy to just like replicate and block out and stuff like that. So I was thinking like, oh, why don't I, um, cause this, you may or may not be aware, it's not a frog man. I think I might try and just do like a style like this <clears throat> and see if I can make that like a frog. So we'll see if I can do that. Um, I should make a folder actually. Okay. Promptipa. Promptipa. Okay. Um, that's that's actually a fox man. Alright, let's see. Um, do it with this pencil. Maybe you can use this pencil today. So I'm gonna do like um kind of the same style here. <laughs> I might try try and just draw this real quick and then and then see how I can like turn it into the prompt where he's like lost my image when I heard that or when I read that was like like he's in a suit or something like um and he's got one of those like business fedora hats on you know what I mean? Is that even a fedora? What kind of hat is that? I guess they have some square ones too, like foxy ones. <laughs> that just looks like a, like one of those, um, what is it? Like those Turkish hats or whatever? I don't know what they're called. I don't know if that's even supposed to be Turkey. Oh, that kind of looks cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I don't know if that comes across as what it's supposed to be. Maybe I'll give them a little, I love giving these little like sprout thingies too. Um, 
Let's see. Give him kind of a suit. Trying to remember. Suits are kind of hard. They have like a general. Um, what is this? Like a lapel? If you get the lapel right, uh, we can decide too if we want to give them. Suits are kind of hard, but they have like a general shape to them that makes them e a little bit easy sometimes. We'll get, yeah, this kind of looks like leafy and stuff, so I like that. We'll keep that. Um make this smaller I think last time I was doing like a full sketch and then like redrawing it with a pen and stuff I think we'll just keep it a lot more um, loose and just like draw over stuff and get something that just kind of looks good uh, this hat this part's kind of giving me trouble hmm. we'll come back to that um, so probably change his eyes, but I was thinking like the, like I was saying, the image I had in my head was like kind of this frog in a suit and he's kind of like looking down at his watch and like, oh no, like I'm going to be late. I don't know. Cause he's supposed to be, um, lost. Right. So I imagine he's like going to a business meeting or something and he's like, ah, shit, I'm going to be late. Maybe I can like give him a, some sweat drips <laughs> and he's like, oh no. I'm going to be late. He's looking at his watch. I kind of imagine like kind of like one of those pinstripe suits too. Just to draw. Mm -hmm. Give it some 20. There we go. Just, just having fun, just chilling. Just um, not gonna worry too much about if these drawings look amazing or anything. It's kind of just like a fun, fun thing for me too, because I can just practice drawing. I think I was talking about it last time, where it's like I can just, I'll end up drawing things I wouldn't normally draw because of this. This, this suit's kind of wonky. This is what happens when you don't do any kind of prep. And it's not something you're like kind of like used to drawing. Um. <laughs> things, things get wonky real quick. Um. Let's see. Just gonna give him like um. Some pants. Got some pants, man. I like the idea he's not wearing shoes. Give him these like big frog feet. I know frogs. They got those like crazy <laughs> like fingers with the little like um, balls on the end. I don't even know what to call them. So I know this isn't like the most accurate thing ever. Kind of getting some slippy vibes too from Star Fox. That's what's up. Fox! Do a bear roll! Oops. Oops. When you forget your shortcuts. It always takes me a minute. Because I don't always draw on this thing. I draw on my iPad a lot, so I'm just tapping and stuff. But having like a. I just use my keyboard. And I set it up like space bar is hand like move around and then I just have like Q QWERTY, right? QWERTY and then like A, S, D, F. These are like the main like eight commands that I have and then like Z is like center. Uh, I don't really, th yeah, X and some, basically it's these like nine commands and I have everything set up here, but it's, it's really awesome. So like if you, um, I actually got like the, the controller. Fallen. I got this, which is like the uh, shortcut controller for the XP pen. And 
It's cool. I really like it because it has the dial, so you can kind of like, um, you can zoom in, or like you can you can press this button and it toggles, and then you can like zoom or like uh, change your brush size and stuff like that. And this is really nice. So I had like I kind of had gotten used to the nine button kind of format. Um, had mapped basically. Oh my god. fell in the trash um, I had gotten used to the having like nine shortcuts essentially right so when I um, um, switched to the keyboard it was nice because I already had like kind of everything that I knew that I wanted but the thing with the the remote control thing is it just wasn't like um, I don't know if it's a XP pen issue or oh, what the heck or um all right that's x let's switch between foreground and background color i don't know if it was an xp pen issue or if it was like a um my like my computer kind of issue but uh yeah it was being kind of weird um it wasn't always working properly and uh it was just annoying too because i would have to like set it up in like the the xp pen settings every time and uh oh yeah i want to give him a briefcase so you can tell he's like a, a working a working man, a working frog. Um, yeah, I just had a few random like issues with it. So I was like, you know what? This is getting kind of annoying to do this every time. Let me just uh, see if I can make it work with my keyboard, which is already obviously just connected to my computer. And I did that and I was like, oh, <laughs> this is so much better. <laughs> I'm just going to use this. Like, sorry. Um, who knows maybe it's partly just my um computer or like some kind of issue with that where it's just like i don't know i don't, I don't really know but either way i think it was only like the good thing is like dude if, if it was a wacom you know that controller thing is like 60 70 bucks this thing was only like i honestly forgot but it, it was only like 20 or 30 like it was a little bit extra but I was already buying the thing, um, you know, I was buying the tablet, so I was just like, you know, whatever, it's fine, I'll just go for it, spend a little extra, but now I know, and um, I guess it's good to have, just in case, I don't really know what I would use it for. Why am I having such a hard time drawing this suitcase? I'm trying to, because, okay, this would actually go out further, yeah, yeah. Gotta start thinking more in 3D. This, <laughs> even this looks weird. But you can you get the point, right? You can tell it's like a briefcase. There you go. And you have like a little lock thingy here. Alright. Um Fox Man, get out of here. Um Okay, this is kind of good. So I think this is about, and then maybe I'll try and just add like a little color. I needed the green for the, uh, you know what, I'll use this, um, I have this sick like marker pen. These ones, I think I got on the Clip Studio asset store thingy. Um, these are awesome. If you like drawing with Copic or Copic markers, so I don't know, I never call them Copic. I don't know why I said that. If you like drawing with Copic markers, then you should try these out. Um, I'm sorry, I don't really remember what they're called. It, these ones are in Japanese too, but they're, you know, they're always getting new stuff. I feel like they, they'd have um, some that are in English and stuff too, but you can just, you can search it in English, obviously, and this will come up and you can like, they always have the pictures that are kind of like detailing uh, what's what's going on. Like you can see what they do and stuff and look at the samples. It's funny too, because you go to the Clip Studio asset store and you're like, you see some stuff and it just looks so good. And you're like, oh man, I'll, I'll do that. And then you get the brushes and like, it, it still looks like shit. And you're like, damn. Who would have thought that it's not really the brushes that make the big difference? It's the, it's the person who's drawing. <laughs> I'm not even really using these 
This, I might as well be just filling this in. What is the... Am I using the right one? Yeah, I guess I am. There's another one that I have, too, I think. Um, let me see. I think it's in this one. Ooh. Is it? Oh, it's this one. My bad. That was a different one that I have. And these ones... Yeah, this one is more... This is like a watercolor marker. That's right. The other one is more like just a normal marker. This one's more of a watercolor marker. Um, but that's okay. It's like a flat. I was thinking he's being like a yellow. This is kind of like uh, the mask. Kind of getting those vibes. Let's see. That's a normal one. Yeah. Because these ones are kind of cool because you can... um. You can do a second layer and it kind of like makes it, you can go over it and it makes it darker, kind of like a natural kind of Copic marker. Like it kind of blends in a little bit, but it also kind of makes it darker. Um, I mean, I'm just being really sketchy here. It's just nice when like, if you need to fill something in, it kind of feels like you're just doing like a quick wash with, uh, oh shit, I didn't even fill in, finish doing this one. <coughs> oh no. Um, it, f it feels like uh, you're doing like kind of just painting with watercolors where you're just doing a quick wash over it or something, you know, you're just like blocking in the colors, kind of like that Miyazaki um, style. What up, Shelby? Yeah, Frogman, dude. I'm doing it. This is the first one. I had to do it. I had to do it. I don't know how I'm going to draw, like, because he's, like, lost in the metropolitan jungle and everything, right? Uh, I don't know how I'm going to draw that. But I'm going to, like, do something. I'll draw some, like, like buildings kind of in the background or something. But I got, like, mad, like, um, the mask vibes. <laughs> like, like, uh, the, like, I don't know. Because he wears, like, a yellow pinstripe suit or something, right, in that movie. I don't know why. I just started getting those vibes for that plus it's just like a funny funny image Dang it. I don't know if I should make the hat yellow too uh, I probably should Damn, I don't know. Gotta be the thing with these markers too is like if you um, since it's not fully opaque, if you lose like the actual color you had. Oops, let me. Where's the eraser? <laughs> I still forget sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna kind of just do this kind of like. It's kind of a cheat where it's like, you're you're pretending it's highlights, but you're just like leaving the white space, right? It's a really nice little technique if you want that kind of watercolory effect. But yeah, these are these aren't fully opaque, so if you like color pick from what you're drawing and try and use that as like the the color that you want to reuse or whatever, it doesn't really work because you're actually like color picking a different color. So that's always something to kind of watch out for. Ooh. I really like these um this these this brush this like little set if you want like actual watercolor brushes too there's tons of really good ones actually you can i've i've tried really hard to kind of like perf perfect or like work on my um like digital watercolor kind of uh aesthetic and you can get you can get some like really cool like close stuff like you can see here too like I'm doing the second layer like kind of going over it and it's already so much darker it's really fun because you can just like you know you can add just a little bit here and there if you want to give it that like analog look because I mean if you if you look closely at that like the brush the pen the pencil that I use doesn't really look uh very analog but that looks like I colored it in with markers it would be hard I honestly it's hard to tell sometimes 
All right, what's just like, um, dang, you know what? I thought of something last night of like, it was like show a taxi or something. Damn, I don't remember actually. I don't remember what it was. I was like, yeah, it's gonna be hard to draw. Let me just do this real quick. Let me try and like, what would it look like? Cause I was like, oh, I'll just kind of like, I don't know. I don't, I'd have to actually think about the perspective to draw like some buildings in and stuff. <laughs> this is giving me shit. Well, he wouldn't be standing in the middle of the road too. Uh, you know what? You know what? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on, hold on. So if we do it like he's at like a, a crosswalk, yeah, and then standing in front of a big building. That's a good idea, actually. Would it be tricky to draw him standing in front of a big building or revolving door? The revolving door actually would be a really good indicator. I, the idea I literally just had was like, I'll draw him um, standing next to like a, um, like a crosswalk sign or whatever. Let me see if I can do the revolving doors. Normally it wouldn't be a big problem. I'm just trying not to spend too long on all these. Let me see though. Maybe I can draw him like in the revolving door. Damn. That feeling when you never have drawn revolving doors, <laughs> so you don't know what you're doing. Uh, like he went to the wrong building or something and he's trying to, um, he like had to exit and he's like, shit, I went to the wrong place. I don't know what I'm doing. Right? Cause it's essentially just like, a okay, okay, hold on. This could work, this could work. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let him cook, let him cook. Let him cook. I guess this needs to be like level with that. Let him cook, let him cook. Oops. I've been to New York once, so this is all entirely 100% accurate. And no one can tell me otherwise. Here we go, here we go. The trick here is like showing that it's revolving <laughs> and not just like a weird, like weirdly angled door. Damn. Cause I think I'm actually missing one. I'm missing the middle one, yeah. Here. Okay, is this gonna look terrible? We'll find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. It's like a paper thin door too. Paper thin doors. I love that modest mouse song. Okay. It might work. This could work. Might have to just kind of go with it. What am I holding? Oh. Get some straight lines. Dang, you know what? The straight lines look good, so we're actually just going to do this. really hard to freehand stuff like that so let's not it's already looking working looks so, thanks thanks yeah that's a good idea I mean I hope I can like kind of just the goal the goal is just like to get it recognizable <laughs> and then it's like okay this is good um, and I guess I want to draw like some yeah, I should have just done straight lines for everything. Is 
what happens when you like are rushing. Like, if I had just done it properly for the first time, it would look so much better. Oops. You always have good suggestions, Shelby. Okay. Whatever, that's pretty good. I'm trying to draw some like some whoosh lines, like he just came out. I guess that's weird. It's kind of hard to make it. I don't know. I don't know if that's like apparent for that. Let me can draw it here. <laughs> okay. Okay. That kind of works. That kind of works, right? Um, and then just really quickly, I'll draw like... Um, or painting like the like this is a really cool little trick too that you can do like if you want to give that like kind of whoa that's huge i don't know if that's gonna look good we can use the actual watercolor brush for this um i think the stock watercolor in clip studio looks really good too Maybe transparent is better. Oh, that's not transparent at all, bro. There you go. You just like draw like that kind of like light blue hue, kind of just showing like the 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 skies like reflection off of like a building or glass or whatever. Kind of like a really really nice way to just get that kind of glass look. Just give it a little bit of it. This works really great in watercolor too. Like some people can make it look so cool, so real. Uh, Take like a darker gray. Okay. <laughs> Alright. That's pretty good, right? I'm really trying not to spend too long on each of these. So, there it is, baby. Frogman, lost in the metro jungle. Metropolitan jungle. I don't know if you meant literal jungle, Shelby, whenever you said that, but I was assuming it's like the concrete jungle, right? There's frog, man. It's solid. Thanks, thanks. Not, oh, I forgot to color this in. Not my, uh, <laughs> not my best work, but <laughs> I'm just trying to, I'm really just trying to have fun and draw these, so. all brown suitcase and then I can just take like the um, I can just grab the frog and we can show it for later like when I have them all finished I think next I might do the uh, Daft Punk gonna have to look up reference for that though it would be sacrilege to try and just draw that from memory <coughs> Frogert. his name shall be Frogert. <coughs> I don't know what I should do for the Daft Punk though that's why I want it mm. Daft Punk. I can think of a few kind of like funny things that they would be doing. Since they're supposed to be like robots, like making them do like um like a mundane thing or something like human humans would do. I don't know, cats here, bro. Okay. Daft Punk. see real quick let us grab a picture of the daft punk oh yeah they were in 
playing Tron too. That could be kind of cool. Oh, what if I did Daft Punk playing the um, the game in Tron? What is that game called? I don't know. I guess there's the only hard part is like drawing the helmets. They're pretty simple. Thankfully. Thanks for making simple helmets, guys. They're always wearing suits too. Is this just gonna be like a suit, a suit stream? I guess they have different outfits. I like, yeah, like home homework era where they're wearing like the black leather jackets. That's pretty sick. Um, let's see, let's see. All right. I hope that was um no? Did I save it? Oh, okay, it's a JPEG. Should be probably good. There we go. Alright. I mean this is probably good enough. I don't want to draw it like exactly like Daft Punk, so throw my own flair on it. So they're either, I don't know why, I just have this image of them just like chilling, drinking coffee, like through their, through their helmets. Something that just seems like a little ironic or like something they can't normally do, but they're just doing it. Baking, robots doing human things to be baking and they're wearing aprons with flour everywhere. Okay, hold on, you're onto something. You're onto something here. I love the idea of them in aprons. Like, yeah, I could draw them like, um, like they're like, they have a table in front of them and they're both wearing like aprons and then there, there's like the, 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 they're making the dough or whatever. Right. And there's just like flour everywhere. <laughs> yeah. The coffees would need massive straws. That's true. Or like they just open up their, their helmets like just a little bit. The coffee one would be fun. I think it would just require a little bit more planning. It would be harder for me to draw quickly. I love, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do like they're baking bread and they got like, they're, they're putting the dough out on the table and they're just like in a bakery. That's perfect. You're a genius. You're a genius, Shelby. I'm probably gonna have to like actually plan this out. What's up with it? Feels like there's like a. Do I have a texture on here? No. Okay. All right. Are you in Australia, Shelby? Right now. He's taller. Silver guy is taller, I think. I'll just do like a rough sketch. This actually, this is probably gonna be the, the last one I have time for. I gotta go eat lunch with some friends soon. Yeah, you're back in Australia? Nice, how you liking it? Right now, it's like probably nice weather, right? It's your guys' winter. Dude, it sucks. Japan sucks right now. It's so freaking hot. I'm gonna go eat lunch at like 1.30. And uh, like I'm excited to go eat lunch, but it's gonna fucking suck. I have to like walk about 15 minutes to the train station. And even that, it's like 30, 35, 36 today. So it's like, oh shit, son. Like, I'm gonna be I'm going to be sweating. I'm going to be sweating by the time I get to the, to the, even just to the station, bro. Thankfully, it's just going to eat lunch. Okay, wait, don't get any, don't get too detailed yet. That'd be funny if they have suits and then like the apron on the suit. <laughs> 
I want to give them the jackets. I like the leather jackets. So we're going to do something like that. Adding detail when I need to just rough this out. All right, hold on. So here's the table. We'll just do this like, kind of like one point perspective kind of vibe to it. Yeah, probably me and the pan right now is great. Max of 24. Wow, max of 24 Celsius for the next month or so. Oh, dude, I'm sure Australian summer is probably way worse than Japan, no? Like, Texas summer is way worse than Japan. Japan just has shitty humidity. Texas, I mean, people think Texas is really arid and they're, like, out west and parts are arid, but it's it's also pretty freaking humid, dude. Like, Texas just sucks during the, the summer. It doesn't matter what you're doing or who you are. I would imagine the Australian summers are just like brutal no matter what. Maybe I'll make it like they don't really know how to bake. This is like turning into like a Yotsuba manga panel. <laughs> Oh, you know be funny? Because sometimes they do like the, uh, the little like emojis basically in their helmets. That'd be funny. I forget which is which. Toma, Toma, and Guy, I think, are that fun. Give them like. Robot hands. Robot rock. Dude. Middle of the east coast. Okay, so we get the humidity too. Got a 40 CT last summer. More that this summer. Probably more. Yeah, the bushfires. Yeah. That sucks. Your east. I'm trying to think. I I was playing GeoGuessr for a minute, so I started like actually learning a little bit about Australian geography. I don't remember. I know, right? Most of it's south and east. Like West Australia is a lot of like just barren land, and it's not as many cities out there, right? But I've totally forgotten. And like Tasmania is south, right? Is like the South Island or something. American explains Australian geography. <laughs> That's hot though. That's like Texas too. It gets like 40, 40 plus. The thing about Texas is it, just, it heats up so fast. Like it's hot from like March. That's what's kind of like shit. And then like Arizona, nearly all of our public, yeah, on the East Coast. Tassie is the little island. Yeah, okay, that's right, yeah, okay. See, I know a few things, I got a few things. I got you, I got you. Dude, I wanna go to Australia. I heard the coffee is bomb and it's just really cool. Like Sydney or Perth would probably be fun, right? Cause those are like some of the bigger cities. Dang, this is this is actually kind of cool. This is a really good idea. So then the nights never cool down though. Could be twenty eight C at ten PM. Yeah. 
that's the one like kind of redeeming quality about Japan I feel like is like mm, I mean actually not recently but most of the time right it does kind of like cool down Texas is the same where it'll be like like 40 45 during the day and it's like oh thank god it's only 41 <laughs> at night or something like that Sydney would be the best bang for your buck got all the fun tourist stuff yeah okay thank you I'll probably I'll probably try that um I mean, I don't know when I would go, but that would be really fun. I haven't really been able to um, explore much. I really want to go to Korea, because I've still never been to Korea, and I live so close. And then, um, I don't know. Yeah, like, going to Europe or Australia or something. Go to foggy London town. Now that I actually know people like all around the world too. That is one of the cool things about teaching English. Is it true that Australia does have like badass coffee? Come April to August. Oh, but come from April to August is on our wish list too. Looks like such a good time. Are you talking about going to Sydney? Is that what you mean? April would be cool, right? Right, you can draw the other guy. Yeah, big time. Coffee in Japan anywhere never be the same. Yeah. Okay, here's the thing though. I've heard that like people shit on Japanese coffee and like I'm not gonna lie. I mean like of course, yeah, like combini coffee and stuff like isn't the best, but it's not bad for just like a quick cheap coffee. Like you get an iced coffee from Family Mart or something, like it's pretty good. Flights in are stupidly expensive though. To Australia from Japan? I know it's like seems closer, but it's like actually kind of like equidistant. For I think for like for America. American flights are pretty expensive too. Um We found some cheap flights though, so we're going back in September. I cannot wait. Dude, we found flights from Japan to Texas stopping in california for like ninety thousand yen which is crazy round trip normally that's like almost double that it's like nearly half off all right i gotta try and speed through this one i gotta leave in like 20 minutes i gotta like end in 20 minutes mm -hmm. Damn, just talking about it though, makes me want to go to Australia. <clears throat> I'm a big coffee guy, so that actually is like something I would be really um, interested in. Thing about Japan too, that I will admit, like that really sucks, is like a lot of the places you go to, even if it's like a fancy place, it's like fucking pour over drip coffee. It's like, how are you trying to be fancy with fucking pour over coffee? Eight and a half hour flight to Brisbane. We're looking at flights to Narita in April next year. Damn. Okay, yeah, that's really expensive. Why is that so good? That's shorter than to Texas. That's like almost half. <laughs> well, no, Texas is like 11 to 13. But damn, 2.2K. That is more expensive. That sucks. Although... I, my, one of my homies is from Hawaii and like that's like a six hour flight and that shit is like at least a thousand to fifteen hundred um, I think for like most flights which you wouldn't think because it's so much closer but yeah I guess it it's not, doesn't the distance doesn't really um, decide everything that's kind of wild though I'm not gonna lie 
That is pretty wild. Our cafe culture is superb, too. Damn. You're making me want to go to Australia even more, man. I just think... I don't know. I Like, Japan, on a, just a general level, I think their coffee is alright. It's pretty good. But they're, they're like, whatever, cafe culture or whatever, I think is kind of like... A little weird. I mean, I guess Starbucks is okay. Starbucks is like decent, right? It's okay. But I don't know. I don't really go to Starbucks, so they have a decent espresso, I guess. I'm an espresso boy. I think it was Interstellar 5555 that they did this. Like he has like a exclamation mark or something on his helmet. I don't know if I should give him like a, a different. I kind of like that. He's kind of, it looks like he's kind of wearing a turtleneck in this one. I think I'm going to give him a Steve Jobs like turtleneck. <laughs> Daft Punk baking. Little cafes in Japan, decent coffee. Starbucks has only started to take off. In Japan, you mean? Yeah, I guess it's gotten more popular recently. I feel like Japanese people just love Starbucks. So, like, yeah, it took off, like, really quick. For, for whatever reason, it was just one of those things. I like, like, I like l the little cafe. Like, the atmosphere and stuff for little cafes in Japan is, is good. But uh, just kind of, like, in a... In a general sense like the coffee is never oh out there okay yeah i was gonna be like i feel like starbucks was always kind of a thing in japan that's funny i didn't know that it's only been the past three years or so in australia good i mean starbucks is okay but at the end of the day it's just kind of like overpriced pretty good coffee right why do these aprons look so weird This is why I'm doing this though. I love, like, I'm drawing stuff that I just have never drawn before. If I was a good boy, I'd be looking at references for everything, but I just don't have time today. Maybe I'll make him, like, sc scratching his head. Oh no. Okay. Keep clicking the wrong button. This flies by too during these streams. It's overpriced and doesn't match the quality. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, I, that was any. I didn't even think about that too because it's like you guys have apparently, right? Like badass coffee and cafes already. So it's like that's why. I guess that's why, right? Starbucks never really had a market in Australia because <laughs> everyone's like. Uh, I don't, we, we already have, like, way better coffee, bro. No thanks. That's funny. I feel like America, like, the, the general quality of coffee is so shit. Like, so bad. Like, you go to a gas station and you get one of those, like, it's been brewing for, like, 73 hours. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's gonna taste like hot trash garbage. And then... But then you can go to like a cafe and they have like one of the best espressos you've ever had for someone who doesn't eat a lot of like or drink a lot of like artisanal coffee per se. It's really hit or miss. Like the, the ceiling is pretty high, but the uh, the average is just garbage, garbagely low. And then Japan is kind of the opposite where like their general average coffee is like, it's okay, it's not bad, it's okay. I'm not talking about like the canned stuff either. It's just like, I can't drink that. I never really could. Oh <laughs> yeah, dude, the coffee drip machines in movies, like at an office or something too. That's bullshit. That's, 
Like, that's super true. That is there, but that coffee is bullshit. No, I don't like drip coffee. Dude, after I had... This is... This, I hate how this is turning out, too. It's funny and cute, but I don't like what, how the actual drawing is. Um, Like, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Once I started drinking, like... I started... I did drip or whatever, instant coffee, kind of growing up. Then I got into like French press and stuff like that. And then uh, once I started having like espressos and stuff, I was like, oh, bro, it's game over. I don't really like sugary drinks and stuff either. Well, I used to fuck with Frappuccinos though, Starbucks Frappuccinos, when I was like really young and couldn't really get into coffee. Looks like a Warner Brothers Daft Punk logo. I feel like American coffee. It's kind of like here too, where you can like you can just you can find like a good uh, little cafe or something that's gonna have decent coffee. Especially with textured milk, it'll change your life. Oh, what is textured milk? The best combo if you have milk. I normally just just go straight espresso, but that sounds good. I can I can you know I I can do a, a little bit of milking or cream or something. I don't mind that. I don't. What is textured milk though? That looks like OP. Gonna have to change it. Textured milk just sounds funny. I'm gonna be one of those, I don't know, one of those dudes who's literally like, I want to go to Australia to drink coffee. I don't know if that's like a, like a weeb wanting to go to Akihabara to go get some figures in Japan or something. I appreciate good coffee though. The thing is though, like kind of what you're saying, like once you have, they heat up the milk with steam makes, oh dude, okay, that sounds really good. Like velvety kind of steamed milk kind of vibes. I mean, that's like a latte, right? It's just kind of like steamed milk and espresso. Well, I'm sure it's different, but that's like the, the base foundation, right? Um. Yeah, once you have that, like, that actually good coffee and stuff, you're just like, oh, I can't go back. That's why I can't go back to, like, drip. I would I would much rather drink, like, um, like really strong, like, hot garbage instant coffee where I just put, like, way too much in there. I would much rather drink that than, than just, like a, a, like, a good, like, drip coffee. Because at least with the instant coffee, it's going to, like, it's gonna like hit me real hard and I'm gonna be like, woo! And like, I'm getting, I know what I'm getting myself into, you know? Oh, oh, okay, yeah, textured milk is how they get those fun designs in the milk, okay. Yeah, nice, okay, okay. I'm learning, I'm learning. I like good coffee, right? But I'm not like uh, very knowledgeable about any of that stuff. I have some friends who've worked at Starbucks though, I'm sure they would. They would know. I don't think I'm gonna have time to um, kind of draw over this, so we're just gonna kind of clean up some of this and maybe do like a little color. Those fun designs are pretty cool. Like it's always, um, it seems really hard, I'm not gonna lie. So that's kind of another thing. Is really hard. This is 
hard because it's not actually like foreshortened, but it kind of has a foreshortened kind of pose going on. Alright, draw the bread. I actually don't know. I'll draw like a rolling pin. I've seen some rolling pins that are like, it's just the, the stick. Like the the pole. All the ones I always use, like in America, had like this kind of thing where you had like the rollers on the end. What would be like a good? Because they're kind of messing up, right? So it's like, what would be a good? Um, I guess it's hard to mess up too hard at this point. Maybe I'll just draw like it's like a really unseemly blob kind of thing going on. We'll have, we'll have, we'll have like both of them making something. Textured milk. I don't know why that just sounds funny to me. My milk is textured. Dough dripping off the edge. Yeah, okay, that's a good idea. Yeah, like... It's already supposed to be kind of like... Uh, a, um, like a ball or whatever, right? It's like gooey, so it's kind of hard for me to think of like how to show this as being like bad, but that's a good idea. Like just things that would be like obviously not good. I can definitely do some dough dripping off the edge. That's a good one. <laughs> okay, yeah. Shelby, you got the ideas today, dude. You got the ideas, man. It was fun last time. Hopefully next time I can do a little bit longer. Because um, last time, I had like two people hanging out in the chat. And we came up with the idea for like Mega Man shooting Fanta out of his like blaster. Because of the, one of the person's like... Um, YouTube handle it was like Fanta something. It was really fun. This visor part is kind of hard. Procrastination leads to the best ideas. <laughs> Are you procrastinating right now? kind of does though I do that whole like procrastinate by doing something else that you don't want to do like that's when my that's when my laundry gets folded that's when I like hang the laundry that's when like I'll go fold the fold the clothes <laughs> somehow it, it's all it comes back to laundry all right okay I got like five ish more minutes let me see if I can do this or I just give it a rough color I gotta go melt. I gotta go melt in the sun. This actually turned out kind of cool. I'm gonna change the line color to black this time though. Yeah, that's better. All the brown actually kind of looks good. Worked with the whole cafe feel or bakery feel. Next idea will be laundry related, yes. <laughs> uh, that actually would be really funny. I, see, okay, I really like stuff like that where it's like, it's almost like kind of like Nichijo, like where it's just like slice of life kind of stuff, right? Like a funny little like cartoon character or something 
and they're just like folding laundry or doing whatever like that stuff always just looks cool or like when it's um a character from something and it they're like completely out of their element like bowser bowser hanging laundry or something okay super duper rush color this bad boy we'll go back to the watercolors whoa This is kind of hard. A lot of stuff is like similar, similarly colored. I hope that's not too much of like a tan. You can really, can, it's hard to, you can't really, that's the one thing. Watercolors, you can't really mix. Saint gouache. Okay. Does look a little bit uh, better with the the color though. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so he's the silver one. It's funny how like just a little bit of color can really like make stuff pop. It's like a weird like orange inside and then he's wearing this color shirt just because the aprons i don't know this isn't very daft punk but i'll make them like green we are we are just free balling here Here's gold. And this is black. They're Starbucks employees. <laughs> you know what? That's, that's so funny. I probably went like subliminal. I probably did the green apron because of like the Starbucks colors. That's so funny. Damn you, Starbucks. Damn you. Yeah, these, dude, that's so funny. Okay, St so this is like Starbucks, uh, Daft Punk getting, um, starting their, their part-time jobs at Starbucks. Oops, why did I go? And they suck at it. <laughs> this is AI took their job. <laughs> AR, AI became better robots than uh, Daft Punk and stole their jobs. How rude. This is pretty scuffed, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, now that they're, they, they, retired they have to get a part-time job 
which is probably the farthest. Oh, I should have just yeah. Why am I doing that? I should have just filled this bad boy in. There, um, I don't think Daft Punk is hurting for money. They've just released like the 10 year anniversary of uh, Ram. It's so good. They have that new song with the that like demo that they did with Julian Casablanca. It's so good. It's called like Infinity Repeating. I've had that bad boy repeating for a minute. I just fill these in. All right, let's go. Starting a job at Def Flux Starbucks. I don't know. I'm just call it Starbucks. But they're like, no, we have to have our own custom aprons <laughs> or something like that. All right, we did it. We did it. Um, just quickly. Grab it so I can get both of these. So place over here. <laughs> Thanks. These are basically both of your ideas. So you're the real MVP, Shelby. Thanks for hanging out. It was fun kind of catching up, learning, learning some more about Australia. Okay, that's pretty cool. That looks funny. Boom, baby. Pretty good, right? To, to a degree. <laughs> All right, Shelby. I gotta hop off, actually. I uh, I really need to go. I need, I'm gonna be late almost for this um, lunch I gotta go to, but thank you so much. No, no. You're the, that was, um, that was a lot of fun. It's way more fun when people are here. We had like two people the whole time last time. It was just two people, but it was like super awesome. Thank you so much. You always add suggestions too. So, Frogman, look, dude. Oh my god, that's funny. Frogman looks like their boss. Yeah, that's funny. Thank you. I'll try and enjoy it as much as I can. Enjoy the um the somewhat nice weather and while you while you can. But uh yeah, feel free to jump in on the next one too. That'd be really awesome. But yeah, I gotta get going. So I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Later.